Oh, yeah. Jenny, ready for early? I'm walking. What about you, son? I'm a food embalmer. For your information, Sarah cried herself to sleep last night. David hardly said a word. Oh, and that's my fault, yes, is it? Of course it is. Dragging Sam in here, making ridiculous accusations. Oh. How do you know they're ridiculous? Because I do. How, Gail? I mean, how well do you know this Sam, anyway? You give him the run of the house, access all areas. It's hardly surprising he takes advantage. Look, I'm sure nothing happened. Oh, what if it did? What are you achieving by upsetting everybody? Oh, I see. So now you admit there's something in it? No! I don't know. Why don't you just agree with him, Mum? Because I know that's what you think. Sarah! You all just think the worst of me. And I know you think I've done something wrong, but I haven't. I haven't. Are you sure you don't want to lift your school? I've told you. Call me Simon's dad. What are you doing, Sarah? Oh, uh, I'm just looking for Sam. Now listen to me, Sarah. I don't want you going near that man again. I don't want to go near him. I never want to see him again, thanks to you. I'm not having this, Martin. You coming in here upsetting everybody. Yeah, I don't want to fight, all right. Look, I'm just worried. I'm trying to protect Sarah here. From what? From Sam. Look, Gail, I don't understand you. Why weren't you more suspicious of him? Suspicious of what? Well, it's hardly normal, is it? A grown man hanging around with a teenage girl. What exactly did you think was going on anyway? I'm sure it was just being friendly. Yeah. How friendly? Martin, don't. I couldn't bear it if anything had happened. Look, he spent more time with David. I'm sure it was just a crush. And if it wasn't? I don't bear thinking about. Hiya. Hi. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm surprised to see you here. Yeah. I thought hanging around school gates was more your saying. How many times do I have to tell you, Martin? Nothing happened. What's going on with you, sir? Nothing. What's the matter, Sam? Yeah. Don't you want your boss knowing your little secret? Well, what's all this about? Oh, no, no, you won't, will you? Because Kev's got two daughters of his own, hasn't he? Yeah, well, I think a father's got a right to protect his kids against scum like you. I've had enough of you. Oh, have you now? What's up? Touch your nerve, did I? Oh, yeah, you did. Because I'm sick of you and I'm sick of all this perfect father stuff. Because you're not, are you? Because I saw you last night. How do you mean? Well, you and Sarah crying her heart out are humiliated. And all you care about is scoring points off your ex-wife. Some kind of family man you are. Don't even think about it. You sure about this? Because it doesn't sound like Sam to me. Yeah, well, you know what they say. It's always the one you least suspect. Yeah, I suppose. But... Nah, not Sam. It's not like that. I know he's not. Beside Louise having a teenage fantasy. No, it's not like that at all. Look, don't take this the wrong way, mine, but... You don't reckon you're reading too much into all this, do you? How do you mean? Look, I know what it's like, mate. You know, a boat moves into what used to be your house. It doesn't matter what he's doing there. It's bound to put your nose out of joint, innit? Hey, are you not going to say hello to another boy? No. Well, why not? He was looking at you. <sighs> no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. I just saw him. Well, it doesn't matter. He's probably busy anyway. Yeah, busy staring at you. What's up with you anyway? Nothing. Well, usually you can't keep your gob shut up about him, and today you haven't said even two words. So? So, that obviously means something's going on. <laughs> it was awful, Sam. Sam just standing there with Martin accusing him of all sorts. So do you believe Sarah when she said that nothing happened? I want to. I want to believe it's just a crush. I'm sure it is. It's what 14-year-old girls do, isn't it? Make up stories about boys. I know I did. Did you? Yeah. I had this mad thing about my next door neighbour when I was at secondary school. I made up this whole story about what I was going to wear to our wedding, what we were going to call our first child. I think it's pretty normal, you oh. know, at that age. So, of course you're right. Oh, poor Sarah, why didn't I believe her? Gail, 
it won't be too hard on yourself. The trouble is, if it's taken this long to convince myself nothing's happened, how long's it going to take me to convince Martin? Was well, there anything going on between you and Sam or not? There is, isn't there? I knew it. Right, give us the gas then. Who kissed you first? I can't. Yes, you can. I tell you everything. Candice, I don't want to talk about it, all right? Look, I'm going to have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Blimey. It's getting this statement to be worth it. David said you were out here. Oh, you're gonna catch your death. What are you doing? Is that your diary? Yeah. You know, I wish I'd never written it in the first place. It was just meant for me. It's just a stupid story. I know that. All right. I know nothing happened with Sam. Does he believe me now? Yes, I do. And I'm sorry. I should have believed you in the first place. I should never have let it get this far. So why is Martin being like he's being? Oh. Because he cares about you. He thinks I'm a slag. No, he doesn't. Look, I know it's difficult to understand, but... Well... If you thought anybody was trying to hurt Bethany, you'd do everything in your power to stop them, wouldn't you? Of course I would. Yeah. Well, that's what Martin's doing. In his own way. He's trying to protect you. Mum, I just don't buy it, OK? Look, I know you want things to be happy families, but it's just not going to be that way. It can't be anymore.